Greetings from South Sudan. I'm Shelvis. And I'm Nancy. And together we are The, the Smith, Smith Mathers. Mathers. And we are so thankful to be with you today on this World Communion Sunday. When we were last together, Nancy and I visited you on your campus, both the main one and at the bridge, and we had a wonderful time worshiping with you. We were so excited to hear about the good work that you were doing in Iowa, and today we're excited to talk to you about the work that you are a part of here in South Sudan. Mm -hmm. And Reverend John Nelson sent us a few questions and asked us to respond, and the first one is, what is the work that you feel called to do uh, in Africa? And I think for me, uh, God places in our lives and on our hearts certain gifts and certain callings and they remain with us wherever we go. So it seems the work that we're called to here is quite similar to the work that we did at home, which is bringing people together across lines of difference. It's a ministry of reconciliation. And I just want to share a scripture that comes from uh, the book of Ephesians, when Paul is talking about the division that existed between the Jews and the Gentiles and how in Christ that division has been uh, removed. And the scripture comes from chapter 2, verse 13. It says, But now in Christ Jesus you, were once, you who were once far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace. He has made both groups into one and has broken down the dividing wall. And he goes on to say that the Jews and Gentiles who were once divided are now being put together into a house uh, that is the dwelling place of God. And we know this is the type of ministry that you're doing in your church and community, and it's also the type of work we've been called to here in South Sudan. We have the honor and the privilege to work with an organization called Reconcile International. It was created by the New Sudan Council of Churches about 10 years ago to help address the lasting trauma that was present in this nation from years of war, and also to help in educating the citizens of South Sudan on ways of building better governance and better addressing the challenges that they're facing. While we're here, we're working with one of the programs called the Reconcile Peace Institute. Each year, the Reconcile Peace Institute brings in leaders both religious and community leaders from all over South Sudan and it provides trainings for them so that they might be able to better address issues of trauma as well as address conflict transformation. That's a little bit about what we're doing and because we're doing it you are also doing it because of your blessings that you've allowed us to be able to come and serve in this place. <laughs> 